Pot and welcome to Crankin' Out Crafts. Today we are going to be making a fun avant-garde pineapple clock and we'll be going through all the steps on how to get to this here. All right, so I have Mod Podge down my sheet of paper. It was a 12 by 12. Um, for this specific piece of wood, it wouldn't fit as a 12 by 12, so I cut it down. You can kind of cut your paper down to whatever size wood piece or plastic piece or whatever you're making your clock into. Um, and I pre-drilled my hole and I pre-cut out my hole with my paper here. And so I have also begun my pineapple. I kind of like the avant-garde look of not having it quite finished. I probably will consider finishing it later. But for now, you can kind of see how I was working. It's kind of turtle, tortoiseshell back, kind of placing it together. And so I am going to glue Everything that has a hole in it, I'm going to glue that down first before I put my clock face into the back. Um, my paper is kind of decided which way is going to be my bottom. It's got a shaded area towards the lower end here and darker blue and a lighter blue. Um, the way the eye works, it tends to want the darker parts towards the bottom. It makes it think that way anyway. So we'll go ahead and go with that. I'm gonna turn my um, large brown piece of paper over. I'm gonna paint the Mod Podge right on. And you don't have to get the whole thing, just the edges. And let's make sure that we put, there we go. Make sure you got it right over the hole there. Otherwise you'll have to cut extra paper later and it'll have to be while it's down on your surface and that makes it a little more awkward. Now I'm also going to glue my sprig of green here. And with this part, like I was saying before, just the edges, this one's got a lot of edges. So make sure that you really spread your Mod Podge all the way across. Now this stuff does dry fairly quickly if you have a thin layer. So if you're working thin, make sure you work quickly as well. Otherwise you'll have uh, some little edges that are kind of popping up. And because this is still a little wet, I'm gonna pop this up, sneak this guy underneath of here, sneak him underneath. Put that down. Now we could have had that on top or we could have it underneath. Uh, totally up to you. I have other layers of green I'm going to do, so I kind of was thinking of doing it on top or underneath. So I have other pieces of a lighter green that I've cut that I'm going to just kind of glue in the random areas, give it a little bit more dimension as a pineapple would have. Let's have that popping right up. Oh yeah. So the things that are closer to the front, we're gonna have be a lighter color. That's kind of, um, your eyes will read it that way anyway. So the next part is our clock face. The hands come separately on the bottom, so they're not attached obviously. And so you're just going to put that in the back and you put that washer in there like that bad boy. I can never remember which way it goes. I think it goes this way. And so the last step, if you choose to use the second hand, is actually just to push this guy on. And it kind of has to go on a little needle here. And you press firmly. And it's done. All you have to do now is make sure you set your time for this clock. We don't have any of the numbers because it's always a low hot time in this house. Mm -hmm. 